going to suffer we're not going to beg for bread God is saying you don't have to beg you don't have to cry I am your father today you can call me faithful because I am faithful I am the God that redeems you from all your struggles and troubles today I change not. I am a mighty God. If you're sick in the body, if you have a pain, hallelujah, God is able. God is able to help you, to change your life. Come on, to give you praise, to give you thanksgiving, to give you a thanksgiving report. Come on. He's able to give you praise so you could praise him. He's able to give you thanksgiving. Come on. Just as you give him thanksgiving and praise, he will give you a testimony. He's able to do that, that you have something to praise about. 
the dead cannot praise him while you're in this body whether you have pain whatever you have stress whether you've been hurt whether you are broken come on you can have a testimony of i once was but now I am found. Hallelujah. Now I am healed. Now I am delivered. And even if my deliverance has not come yet, oh, come on, I know my Savior is going to give me eternal life. I know my change will come. I am weak, but he is strong. Yes. It's through him that I live. Hallelujah and move and have my being can we say thank you jesus can we say amen in here hallelujah god wants to comfort you god wants to bestow strength on you he wants to call you by your name and change your life hallelujah he wants you to know he's faithful he wants you to know he is holy he wants you to know he's the god who delivers you in times of need you just begin to praise him right now you just begin to thank him i call you faithful hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah Praise the Lord. Can you praise him in here? Hallelujah.
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 He's faithful. He's holy. And he's all that we need him to be. I'm so glad we serve a great, big, mighty God today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just begin to pray. Just begin to pray and believe God. Just begin to pray. Hallelujah. Give him praise in this place today. Give him, give him praise and worship. Wherever you are, you call him faithful. You call him faithful. Wherever you are, you call him righteous. You call him holy. He didn't let you down. He's too holy for that. You call him all that you need. You call him everything you need. Say, you are my everything. Call him by his name. He is holy. He is the mighty God. He is doing a new thing in your life. He is changing your life. You gotta be strong. Jesus give him praise give him praise give him praise can you say give him praise can you say give him praise when I say give him praise I mean for you to give him praise tell somebody else give him praise tell yourself give him praise hallelujah where are you where are you standing oh come on what is your situation in god today what do you need god to do come on as long as we have breath we will have a need for another breath we will have need for food hallelujah we will have need for life hallelujah we will have need to use our mind hallelujah we will have need to use our bodily functions come on our bodies hallelujah we have need to walk we have need to run we have need to climb we have need to exercise our minds and our thoughts come on we are not a dead stone sitting there come on no matter how we would like to feel sometime you and i have an opportunity to do something hallelujah just as you get up and you've got to move this body you got to get out of bed sometime you got to eat sometime you got to function you need god just as much yesterday's stuff is not what you need it's today's stuff you need to get the new breath hallelujah so the new life flowing in you you need new change you need new victory you cannot stay the same if you have the same testimony that was only 10 years ago you have not lived hallelujah in some ways you are a blog a log come on you got to move from glory to glory if you have the same revelation that you had 10 years ago you have not moved somebody say give us this day our daily bread how many are realizing you're changing if you're in a ministry and you're not changing something is wrong you have to be growing say i am growing i need the most important ministry you need is Jesus Christ. When you hear him every day and every ministry that you are in have to point you to Jesus. Hallelujah. Point you to Jesus so you can believe him more and hear him more. Hallelujah. At the end of the day, after you preach, make sure they are looking at Jesus. Jesus now. Jesus yesterday, today and forever. Come on. But today Today you got to hear his voice. Today you got to move in him. Today you got to be changed by his word. Finally, Paul is ending his message, his words to the, 
the church at Ephesus. And he's saying, finally, at the end of everything, be strong in Jesus. Amen. Be strong in the power of his might. Yes. Be strong. The battle is on. As long as you have life, you have to get up. And if we can call living a battle, a baby strives to come out of the womb. Come on. And when they're out there kicking and using their hands and their feet, come on. They're crying. They're screaming. Come on. You know, we have to slap them if they're not crying. Come on. Because when they're crying, they're breathing. When you're going through something, you are breathing. Come on. When you're moving in this world and you're gasping for breath, you're breathing. Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody say change. We got to keep on moving we gotta keep on growing oh god this is for somebody this is to get you to the next level don't be complacent where you are don't think that the devil you saw yesterday is the same one that's gonna come today come on hallelujah you gotta get more jesus in you you gotta get stronger you get got to get more word in you you got to eat more veggies hallelujah you have to eat more strength hallelujah you got to take your vitamin supplement in jesus you got to get more and more of god finally be strong somebody say be strong be strong in the lord not in your own work not in the way you think hallelujah you see what the Pharisees and the people of God, the Jews, did not realize it was a daily bread. God took them through the desert and walked with them day and, day and night. A pillar, hallelujah, fire, and a cloud by day, showing them, you need me every minute. You need my protection every minute of your life. Amen. You can't in your own strength do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their shoes grew with them. You need me to grow you. You need me to grow your, your stuff around you. Hallelujah. Why does the shoes grow? Your life has to grow. Your ministry has to grow. Your love has to grow. Come on. Amen. To fit to hallelujah. Who you are. Hallelujah. And it has to be sustained. It, it, it cannot wear out. It must not wear out. There's enough God to fix you. Hallelujah. As you walk this pilgrim's journey. It won't get too rough. Your foot will always be protected. Hallelujah. For the journey that you have to take. It will be protected supernaturally. Where you go. If you tread on anything. It shall not harm you. Because you got protection on your feet. Somebody say the gospel spell of peace hallelujah you got to move like god is in control of your life too much moving backwards looking back at the past and giving the past as an example you gotta say what's new on the horizon i want my present i want to speak into my present and i want to speak into my future so many times we are so busy getting healed of the past, that we're not busy speaking into a future. Say, I will be well. I will be healed. I will be blessed. I am changed. I am the righteousness of Christ. I am loved by God. God loves me. I am what he says I am. I am whatever that man says. I, I am. I am the righteousness. I can walk. I can get over. I'm an overcomer because of this man. Whatever he says, I can do. I can do. Start speaking into your future. Don't forget to live your today. 
Don't wait until you have a good attitude to have a good attitude. Don't wait until you feel good to smile. Hello, somebody. Walk on today. Today, if you hear his voice, stop in the middle of an argument. Oh, hallelujah. Stop in the middle of an unkind word. Stop in the middle of a thought. Come on. That is not righteous. Come on. Stop in the middle of doing the same old things and getting your mind the same way. Hello, somebody. God wants you to move on. Amen. Walking one step at a time. Being corrected one minute at a time. Amen. Being changed in your course one day at a time. Button your upper lip. Be strong. You have to learn to be strong. Some of us are waiting on a tomorrow to be strong. When I feel good, then I'll. Your tomorrow may not come. This can be the day, hallelujah, that the change needs to happen. Hello, somebody. Say, God is my refuge and strength. A very present help in time of trouble. He is a very present help. You don't have to wait for tomorrow to get it. You know that king... When they asked him, when should I pray? I, I want to pray. For the, I'll pray for the frogs to leave. The king said, tomorrow. We don't want to be like that king of Egypt. We don't want the unclean things to stay another minute. If there's something that needs to go from your home, from your life, from your children, from your family, from whatever your, your ministry, whatever is going on, your job site, your eyes, hallelujah, the way you see things, come on. If something has to be removed, let it happen today. Let it happen today and be not silent. Hello, you must learn just to be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Paul had to leave them with something. You see, the Israelites, they didn't understand. They didn't understand that he was leading them on a daily journey. Offer yourself a living sacrifice. Not just, I did, I got saved last year. But today, right now, get saved again. Hallelujah. I don't care how you are and how you came in to his presence. Oh, hallelujah. But you got to have this belief that he is strong enough to change you. Amen. I've Amen. got to believe he is strong enough to change me. My flesh and everything. And if we take every day, not like a Pharisee already knowing and thinking they have it all done. But if we take every day as a day that something good is about to happen. This very day, Jesus of Nazareth is passing my way. And we could say, pass me not. Don't pass me by because I'm not listening. I'm not looking. I'm just waiting to hear this thing, but I'm not really listening to that thing. Don't let Jesus pass you by. If he is here, he is here to fix. To change, to deliver, to set free. Come on. Paul was saying, finally, finally, finally be strong. I've said so many things, but you know, it ends up with that. You've got to be strong. All these things I set out that it should be, you should be doing them. But you've got to be strong to be able to get it done. You've got to be strong at the end of the day to summarize it all. After I said love each other and, and be subject to each other, submit yourself in the family. And after I said all that I've said, hallelujah. I'm saying, be strong in the Lord. Amen. This is the end. 
Do you see the same Paul declared that he would glory in his weaknesses that the power of God might be revealed in him? Oh God, are you hearing me? For when he was weak, he said he was strong. Hallelujah. This is the problem. You've got to realize that you are strong only in the Lord. And if you are strong in the Lord, you can be strong in yourself. This is what happened to the Israelites. They remembered all that happened and all the miracles, signs and wonders, and they got into religion. They were calling those things supernatural when they had just become normal. You see, your supernatural yesterday is very normal today. And that's what happened. When you get into normalcy in God, it starts to rot. Come on. It start, the water starts to get stagnant. You've got to have a new and fresh drive every day. That's why they got religious. They got upset. They looked at their history and they just became those that carried around the law and the letter of the law. But they knew in that letter that there was going to be a Messiah. But they had all their stuff so much together. And they had their attitude. And they were taking things, calling it supernatural, that was really natural and normal. You see, the miracle that you had yesterday, you need a fresh one today. Hello, somebody. It's great to recount the loving kindness of the Lord. But he's got to be doing something new for you today. Are you hearing me, church? And that's where people get hung up on. Well, I know the Lord this way. Just like the Israelites. They were looking and the Pharisees were looking for it a certain way. That they missed God when he came in. That's why we sang, pass me not. Pastor stopped in the middle. Hallelujah. In other words, for you to hear what you're saying, clap your hand. Pass me not. Is he passing you? Did he pass you for the last 30 minutes? Come on. Or are you asking God, pass me not right now? Are you lifting your hands right now and saying, God, pass me not? Help me to see you. I don't want to just figure out this message and sit there and wonder and uh, uh, stand there and say amen but i want to hear you god i want to be changed by you the israelites were constantly looking for something else to believe but they kept you see, they wanted God to change, but they didn't want to change. They kept their own way. Okay, you did this? Well, this is what I stand on. This is how God's going to work. He's not going to work any other way. But yet they want God to work with them on their stuff. Come on. And he has to do something every day for them. Somebody say, say, say change. But they themselves stayed in the past, in their old customs, their old traditions that Jesus had to say, your tradition, it causes the word to be of no effect. Hello, somebody. Your tradition. And we've got to realize as Christians, some of us have old traditions and we pass on these traditions. Be careful. Because God wants to do something new in you, young people, older people. And trust me, church, rely on the newness and the freshness of the spirit. Somebody say daily bread. Somebody say healing bread. Somebody say bread that have life. You see, when they ate the manna, if they try to eat it the second day, it will rot. Except for the time God said, gather enough for the Sabbath. And they had it. Uh, 
you, man cannot live by bread alone. But every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. God said, don't gather more. Some of us are stuck in so much and we're trying to put more on people that we don't need to. Come on. Hallelujah. Our unbelief, our doubts. We, we are putting so much on ourselves and it's rotten stuff. Oh God, are we talking in the right? Can you hear it? Can you, do you have ears for it? Let us believe God for the spirit of God. And when you have the spirit, when you see the spirit, do not quench the spirit. The spirit is not a laugh. He's not a joke. Come on. When the spirit is moving in a new way, just begin to kneel and pray and ask him to move. Hallelujah. You see, Paul says, do I have to come in love or do I come with a strength? You see, when a prophet speaks and they are not listened to, there's a judgment that comes. And sometimes the judgment comes with power and strength and, and people can be affected. And Paul knew that and he said, he, he prepared them. In other words, Get prepared for me coming because when the spirit moves, the spirit is going to move and be open and be sensitive to the spirit because they were thinking about who had the spirit and who they liked more and they were making monuments of old past things that people did. Hello, somebody. And they were not looking in the freshness and the newness of the spirit today. Are you with me? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. We've got to be strong in the power of what God is doing right now. Yes. You and I can't formulate the spirit and say what the spirit is going to say and how it's going to move in anyone. Hello. God can move in his children and with the spirit the way he wants to. Oh, give him praise in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be strong and of a good courage. Be strong. He told Joshua, Moses is dead. Come on. So you are saying to, to Joshua, you learned, you learned, but now you just got to listen to me. Amen. You're strong, but you still have to be strong in my power, not Moses teaching. Are you hearing me? You, 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 you have courage. You learn to fight the way Moses had to fight. But I don't want you to pass on Moses' anger. You see, I don't want you to pass on the flesh of Moses. And that's what happens. Flesh rots. We, if we don't move in God and we don't move in the flowness, flowing and the new things of God, we rot. Mm. Did I say that before in different ways? Yes. It's very important. Be strong in the Lord. Old time ways and things will bring fear and rotting and ugliness. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord today. Amen. Today, get a new vision for your life. Amen. Get a new thought. Begin to say God is faithful. God is holy. God is joy. God is my victory. I shall not die, but live and declare the glory of the Lord. I may have been turned down yesterday for that loan, but today I believe there's a fresh anointing. There's a fresh oil. I'm, somebody might have said no to me. I might have been discouraged. This thing didn't work. But today it's a new fresh day in the Lord. Caleb was 80 when he started hallelujah in the land but still going strong glory to God you gotta have a Caleb spirit he didn't worry about what he did yet before he just believed in what he's gonna do now you and I have to go out and conquer new lands and do new things Amen. glory to God are you with me church Amen. somebody say be strong 
Only be thou strong, he says to Joshua, and very courageous. Only be strong. The, the root word that you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Come on. Dunamai is the same word that Paul used. Jesus said, if I don't go, the comforter can come. You see, because the comforter was going to come with new revelation, new truth, and lead them with Jesus being not now in front of them, but inside of them. Are you hearing me? Give him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Lead them from the inside. Oh, Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. When you hold on to traditions, you just hold on and there is a rot with it. But when you leave them, whatever in those traditions that need to go on, that have life, will go on inside of you. Come on. And it would not block your way. Are you hearing me, church? Jesus didn't stand in their way. They would be looking at Jesus and they would not be doing what they need. He had to get inside of them to steer their boat. And it's, you've got to accept the Spirit of God to steer your boat. Hallelujah. You've got to have the Spirit of God to steer your boat in Jesus' name. Somebody say, let the Spirit of God steer my boat. Let the Spirit of God steer my boat today in Jesus' name. Let the Spirit of God steer my boat in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to God. Say, let the Spirit of God steer my boat. Say, I am the righteousness of Christ. I am born again to make a different difference. The Spirit of God. Live in me. Show me your way. Jesus. Jesus. Work in me. Inside me. So I can do new things. Give me that fresh anointing. To be led by your spirit. Help me to take away. To take away everything. That stops me. All my beliefs. That is contrary to the word of God. Oh, let me believe for you, Jesus. Let me believe. Let me believe that your kingdom will come. That your will be done in my life and in others. Somebody say, Jesus, on the inside. Working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Say, fresh oil from heaven. Lead me, Lead me into green pastures. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I shall not die in old stuff, in dead works, in natural things that I used to call supernatural. God, help me to live a new world, a new life, a new change. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you. And I give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, begin to believe God for change in your life. Believe God that you can be strong and in the power of his might. Wherever you are, believe God. Believe God. Can you play on the instrument where you are? Come on, believe God. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, just believe God. Somebody say he is good. He is good. Somebody say change. Somebody say healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say he is good. Wherever you are, God is good. Hallelujah. Say he's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. How many are glad they came to hear that message? Hallelujah. Say be strong. Hallelujah. Be strong. It's not about yesterday. It's about the freshness. You're supposed to have it inside of you. What you need. Hallelujah. From yesterday. 
How many know is the good yam and dashing that you eat, but you can't have that same yam and dashing today. It's supposed to be strengthening your body and it causes you to grow. Come on. It's the same way the spirit works. Hallelujah. The strength that you have today, it was, it was given to you yesterday. But how many know you don't hold on to things that need to be dumped? Come on. And fresh things to come into your life. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Say thank you for newness. Thank you for, thank you for peace. Thank you for, thank you for joy. Thank you for, thank you for healing. Thank you for grace. Thank you for health. Right now somebody need a healing in their body. Oh God in the name of Jesus. So many are stuck on this person. And if I go to that person, they're going to pray for me. And if this happened, and, and they cause their own unbelief, hallelujah, and they cause others to not have any belief. But I want you to know where you are. It's about you. Are you praying and believing? Are you believing that God is going to heal you? Are you believing? Or are you only talking about what somebody did or what happened? Or what are you believing for victory in your Amen. your your emotions? Are you believing for healing? Oh God, you might have had financial disaster, but are you believing that God has put some things in you that the devil can't take away from you? And those same things working in the spirit and with the spirit in a fresh new day, you can dip again like Peter dipped and you can come up with fish. You don't have to stay where you are. You have DNA in you. You have blessings in you. You have victories in inside of you you have strength inside of you you can walk to your purpose you can walk to your victory stop thinking about the bad things that that hurt you think about the good things you are here anyway if you are here you survive Say, I shall live and not die to declare the glory of the Lord to de declare that the Lord is strong to declare the leadership of the Lord the spirit is leading me the spirit of wisdom and discernment hallelujah the might and power of the Lord the spirit of the Lord is leading me I have power to cast out devils I have power to raise the dead every dead thing in me that needs to rise up and be fresh i have the power to lay hands on myself and say in the name of jesus amen say i've got power i've got power in jesus name, in jesus name. oh hallelujah somebody say jesus Isaiah 35 4 says say to them that are of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold your God will come with a recompense he will come and save you oh God but I want you to know that God is inside of you now he has come and saved you he's inside of you now and he's working in you and as you pray something will happen because that God is now inside of you the Isaiah 40 verse 29 says he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no mighty increased strength. Isaiah 40 30 says even the youth shall faint and wear and grow weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Haggai 2 4. Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, said the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest, and be strong, all you people. It's Amen. time to get strong. Yes. It's time to believe as a church that we've got the power. Hallelujah. You know what the devil is most of the time? He's just a practice. Hello, somebody. He's like a ball that you're just practicing on. Come on. Learn to kick him. Amen. Learn to 
plow him down. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You're learning strength. You're getting more and more strength. Don't be afraid of him. Don't let somebody big him up to you. Come on. In the power of his mind, you've got to believe it. Abraham believed him and it was counted for righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you believing? Amen. So you can birth Jesus inside of you. Jesus on the inside. Working on the outside. Let's just lift our hands and give him praise. Let's just lift our hands and believe him. Hallelujah. Abraham believed him. Jesus. Let the righteousness of God rise up. Say, I am the righteousness of Christ. I, righteousness of Christ. I, believe, you, Lord. I believe you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To face every spiritual battle you have made me able with the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness the shoes that will not wear out with the gospel of peace when I walk I command peace wherever I walk. Wherever my souls touch. Come on. I've got the gospel of peace on. And peace is a heavy weight. It says be excellent in what is good. Innocent of evil. And the God of peace. Come on. You got on his shoes. You got on Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Shall crush Satan. And you and I will crush the devourer. Under our feet. With the shoes of peace. Peace, hallelujah. Peace is a heavy weight. Peace is a blessing that's going to fight the enemy and destroy his works hallelujah. over you. Come on. you got peace on. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Helmet of salvation. And above all, put on the sheep, shield of faith. The shield of faith. Some of us have put on other shields. But God is saying, you're using all these shields. But put on above all. Let that be higher. I can try to, to take care of myself in this pandemic. Come on, I could put a mask on. I can do everything. But I want you to know church. And for those that are listening in, even for the first time, the only real protection you got is the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mask can't help you. Six social distancing can't help you. Hallelujah. It's your belief Amen. in God and the power of his might. Amen. Hallelujah. And your belief in the armor of God. Come on. And the strength of God, Hallelujah. who He is, you, he, it can't help you. These things can only do natural things, but the spiritual things, the God thing, is what comes. Yes. The angels of God that surround you. And are fighting your battle daily. That's what comes. Amen. That is more real. Than the chairs we are seeing in here. And wherever you are. You can be in your bed. This is more real. Yes. The spiritual warfare. Remember. To not worry. When the people around you can't see it. Because they are blind. Children of darkness, they're not going to agree unless the light of the glorious gospel comes in. Hallelujah. But their unbelief may be just 
a little test of your faith. Come on. Because I want you to know when they come in, they will be running. Hallelujah. Because wherever God is, there is love. And where there is love, you have no need. God will turn it around if you create and keep the atmosphere going. The Amen. atmosphere of faith and love. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. We're going to close now. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. The pastor want to pray for you. The Lord give you peace. Give you peace that pass it all understanding to guard your heart and mind. Help you to confess the Lord as Savior and Jesus Christ every day of your life by not what you said when you accepted him 15 years ago but what you are saying now hallelujah accept him to save you through your adversities accept him to be a savior to you through trials and tribulation accept him to save you from discouragement and and guilt come on accept him to be the savior of your new day and that this day is the lord Amen. come on this is the day that the lord has made oh come on Hallelujah. oh don't get me started this is the day oh god i could start preaching again that's a sermon in itself. This is the day the Lord has made. Accept him to make your day right now. A new day, a fresh day with a whole lot of promises. In Jesus name, let healing come suddenly. Let joy come suddenly. Let victory come suddenly. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on that place in your body, wherever you are. Oh God, just put your hand and let there be supernatural healing now. And let faith and doubt be scattered from your mind. Let yesterday be gone in Jesus' name. Believe him right now and let the healing flow into that place. Touch it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let healing flow suddenly. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome. Oh, touch your people. Touch your people. Touch your people now. Holy Spirit, we rely on you to begin to do the work. Hallelujah. We, we come away. Hallelujah. With you into your place of healing and victory.